Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the STR transforming Bojack banner is going to be dropping on Global in about a day and a half. So in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick preview of his animations, his details, his banner, his new category, and all that stuff to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragonstones to uh, try and pull him. Okay, so... With all that said, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing we're gonna start with is the animations. Okay, so we're on the official Dokkan Twitter page. Let me just quickly turn up the volume a little bit and uh, let's check it out. Alright, so I've long said, right, like I'm not the biggest Bojack fan out there. I think he's just a solid villain, you know, not my favorite by any means, but he has some clean ass animations, man. Not just Bojack, but the Zhongnya too, but uh, Bojack himself, amazing animations in my opinion. And his OST too, like the music, um, a lot of people say they really, really like it, and I gotta agree, man, it's just super catchy. Um, they've been doing a great job, obviously, with new uh, OSTs in Dokkan for a long time, so uh, no surprises there, but yeah, there's a lot to like about this unit already, even though we haven't gone over his like kit yet, we haven't gone over his details, just based off the animations, like that might be enough to get some people to uh, chop a few stones, right? So uh, from there, let's move on to the banner, which we did talk about uh, briefly in one of my previous videos. As you guys can see, it's not bad at all, man. For a Dokkan Fest banner, like a regular one, not comparing to like anniversaries or anything like that, it was a very, very good banner that JP got. However, however, the Tech Ultimate Gohan has like a 99% chance of being replaced when it comes to Global because he was just featured um, on the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta banner, right? So, I mean, it really depends on who they swap him out with. Uh, we haven't had Bardock featured in a while. We haven't had these guys featured in a while as well. So um, they'll probably stay the same for this guy. I'm really hoping they surprise us and give us the uh, Fizz, Angel, Golden, Frieza instead of Gohan. Cause I think they're almost like on the same level in terms of like how good they are as TURs. Uh, we can debate that in a separate video, but I think Angel Golden Frieza is amazing, and since he is a fairly new uh, Dokkan Fest unit, I think that would definitely raise the uh, stock, raise the hype of this banner for a lot of people. So we'll have to see, you know, uh, it could be an older unit that could make this banner a lot less exciting, but overall I would say this banner is most likely going to be just good, um, probably like a 7, 6.5, 7 out of 10, nothing too crazy, not crazy value but not too bad either. And if you guys are missing Bardock or this uh, future Gohan, then for that reason alone, it might be worth a couple of summons. But uh, yeah, before we talk about my recommendation, before we talk about whether or not it's worth summoning, let's take a look at what they actually do, right? So there's the banner and uh, popping over to the Dokkan wiki. Uh, oh, this is the brand new category, Space Traveling Warriors led by the Bojack, uh, some people like it, some people hate it. Um, overall, I think it's actually a pretty good category. I mean, it is a little bit ambiguous. The uh, description here is consists of warriors who have regularly traveled through outer space. But this is actually an interpretation by the people that run the Dokkan Wiki because there's no actual explanation provided by Akatsuki or uh, Bandai for any 
of the categories. So yeah, we're assuming that it's just for, you know, characters that, yeah, like travel through space, go into space pretty frequently. And as you can see, of course, there's Bojack, there's Sangnya, and then we have uh, the LR Nappa and Vegeta, LR Jiren, a bunch of Frieza's are gonna be in here, uh, the Final Form Coolers, uh, all the Beerus's I believe are present as well, and it's actually a pretty sizable category. I mean, it's not the biggest category we've seen, but you have quite a few options um, for team building, so... I would say for a new category these days, um, I'm not really too upset by it. Uh, I don't think it's amazing, I just think it's a good, solid category. And uh, if I were to give it a rating, uh, just like the banner, I would probably give it like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. And if you guys have LR, um, the LR Bojack, then you are probably a lot more incentivized to go for the STR Bojack because they are by far the best linking partners for each other and the STR Bojack makes the LR Bojack a freaking monster, man. I mean, he was already pretty good before, but with the STR Bojack on the same rotation, those two will wreak some havoc together. So um, yeah, that's definitely a rotation I'm super excited to run and I'm not going to highlight everybody, of course, in the category, but LR Turles is here, so if you guys recently pulled LR Turles, then he's going to be a great inclusion as well. And uh, yeah, just a, you know, good category overall. So that's Space Traveling Warriors. And popping over to the kits now, starting with, of course, the main new unit, the Bojack. Later skill is Space Traveling Warriors, category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170%, so it's 170% across the board. Or Time Travelers, category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 150%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 100%. Space traveling warriors, category allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30% when facing one or more enemies, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% when facing two or more enemies, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% when facing three or more enemies. So basically, um, this is all for his support. So if you're facing only one enemy, it's going to be key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%. Two enemies, it's going to be uh, key plus two, attack and defense plus 40%. And then three or more enemies, it's going to be uh, attack and defense plus 50%. And key plus two for space traveling warriors. So in this form, just like the STR cooler, he's mainly a support unit, even though he can still do a good amount of damage and get a good amount of defense, right? His active skill is a transformation into a full power Bojack and can be activated when facing only one enemy, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. And uh, overall for conditions, a very easy to meet condition. Links are the Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Big Bad Bosses, Surfs of Conquest, Coward, Revival, and Fierce Battle. So yeah, his Link set is definitely a little bit wonky as uh, you know all the Bojacks are, so that's why you want to link him up with either the LR Bojack or one of the other Bojacks in the game. Its categories are Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Terrifying Conquerors, Inhuman Deeds, and Space Traveling Warriors. And that pretty much does it for his uh, pre-transform state. Now looking at the Full Power Bojack, his super attack raises attack and causes immense damage, which is a 30% increase for 99 turns, so essentially can be stacked infinitely. His passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 180%, launches an additional attack. That's a medium chance of becoming a super attack, attack plus 30%, and defense plus 15% when attacking with 3 or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack plus 30%, and defense plus 15% when attacking with 6 or more key spheres obtained. So this part of his passive is actually very similar to the uh, transformed uh, LR Perfect Cell, right? Where like the more orbs you get, the bigger the boost. Although he's not like a nuker because there's a limit to uh, how much attack and defense he can get, right? Up to a maximum of six orbs. But he's starting with key plus three and attack and defense plus 180% already without this part of the passive, which is a pretty massive boost. And of course, also that you know, medium chance of launching an additional super attack. So in any given turn, he can launch up to three super attacks. His links stay exactly the same. Of course, he's in the same categories. And one final bit 
of information for you. His additional boosts are calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 264% and defense plus 222% with 3 or more key spheres obtained, and then a total of attack plus 348% and defense plus 264% with 6 or more key spheres obtained. So needless to say, this guy is a freaking monster. Um, I think the comparisons to the STR cooler are fair, and while I don't think he is as versatile of a supporter as the transforming cooler, his damage output and his defense have the potential to be even better than the coolers because obviously he gets you know, more attack and defense on his passive, and the only advantage that Cooler would have is when you're facing a Pure Saiyans or a Hybrid Saiyans enemy where he gets those guaranteed crits, which is pretty huge. But the thing I like about Bojack is that there's no real restriction on his passive for like certain enemies, so like you'll have this no matter who you're fighting, right? Like any enemy in the game, and uh, he's definitely a unit that should not be slept on because, as I said, he is an absolute monster. Now, of course, since we're talking about the Cooler comparison, I will have to give the edge for Leader Skill to Cooler. I would have to give the edge for Lynx to Cooler. And um, I would also have to give the edge in Support to Cooler as well, mainly because Transformation Boost is a better category than Space Traveling Warriors. And he also has the um, secondary support for Terrifying Conquerors too, which is also a very solid category. So yeah, I would say these two categories, or rather these two units, the Bojack and the Cooler, are very comparable. Cooler is uh, definitely better than Bojack in some ways, but Bojack also has some advantages over Cooler for sure. And to me, it's kind of hard to say like which one is definitively the better unit. I think it's a little bit situational, but uh, yeah, you know what? Long story short, Bojack is awesome. He's definitely a unit that anybody would be lucky to pull, and that's all I gotta say about him. All right, so moving on to the Zhangya now. Her leader skill is Space Traveling Warriors, category Q plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack, supreme damage, lowers attack and defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 30% per Space Traveling Warriors. Category ally on the team, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when there is an ally whose name includes Bojack. Attacking in the same turn, attacked enemies attack and defense minus 20%, recovers 10% HP at the start of turn. And links to the Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Battlefield Diva, Brutal Beatdown, Revival, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Peppy Gals, Resurrected Warriors, Time Travelers, uh, Terrifying Conquerors, and Space Traveling Warriors. So not too much to say here, she's just another very solid uh, side unit. She's definitely not the unit you're going for on the banner, but if you happen to pull her, that wouldn't be a bad thing at all. I mean, she gets up to like 210% attack and defense on her passive. She's got the healing, debuffing the enemy, um, additional super attack. Um, yeah, just really, really good. So there's the Zhangya, there's the full power Bojack. That's the space traveling warriors category. And uh, this is the banner. Of course, like I said, this guy will be replaced, so it's going to be interesting to see who they replace him with and whether or not that's going to make the banner better or worse, right? And uh, of course, these were the animations. And that's going to do it, guys, for today's video. Another edition of Pass or Pull in the books. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking right now. Are you planning to summon for Bojack? Or are you going to be saving your stones for something else in the future? For example, like the 6th uh, anniversary, I guess, in about 5 months from now. There's also going to be Saiyan Day in about uh, like 2.5 weeks, so very, very soon. And directly after that, we might get the Dual Dokkan Fest, Fortune Nemba, and uh, PyCon on Global. So still a lot of stuff coming, still a lot of big releases. So Bojack might not be a lot of people's main priority. My personal recommendation for the average player is to definitely, you know, go light on this banner. I know I've been saying it a lot, but in terms of value here, it's not super great. It's not bad either, but the value for your stones is nothing compared to the anniversaries or even dual dual confess, right? So 
Um, I would still recommend to save most of your stones if you really want Bojack, especially if you have Turles or LR Bojack or both, then he's definitely worth having because those guys go really, really well together, right? So I would say do like two to four multis, you know, 100 stones to 200 stones and then call it a day. Personally, I will be doing... Um, I think I have one collab lined up actually, so I'll be doing that. I'll also be doing my stream, but that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna go too crazy for the Bojack, even though I really want him. I don't think he's really worth too many stones, too many videos. So uh, guys, stay tuned for that. And uh, that's gonna be today's video, man. Once again, let me know if you're gonna be summoning, if you are gonna be summoning, how many stones are you gonna be spending, or do you plan to just completely skip and uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.